angels willing to hold us in their arms When our words of stone or ashes And we both passed on Let forever mean forever and carry on Howdy, howdy. So I was today years old when I realized I did not have a good hydration video. So um, somebody was asking about uh, filtration choice and, you know, advice and stuff. And, um, and so I thought, well, I'll share him what I did with my hydration system because I haven't seen a whole lot of this uh, out there, folks showing this kind of stuff. So I am going to, uh, I will leave links for everything that I've got here. Um, it will be affiliate links if it is what it is, right? Um, but what I wanted to go over is first of all they were asking about uh, choices uh, basically somebody was asking about the website Woot and uh, apparently Woot had life straws they had a good deal on life straws so it was in the comments of that this is over on the Prepper Nation uh, Facebook group so anywho um, I realized I thought I had a video and I didn't and what I had was a video where I went over my bug out bag in which I did cover our water filtration stuff but there is a very specific reason why I have my system set up the way that you see and the reason why I have it set up the way that you see is because I don't have to open my bug out bag I don't have to remove my bladder out of my bug out bag I don't have to do jack other than pull this off in order to fill my bug out bag we're gonna we're gonna show you that so first of all let's go over the water filtration because that was the question that was uh, more or less asked so I'm a fan of Sawyer uh, I'm a big big fan of Sawyer and I will recommend the Sawyer squeeze any day of the week now what you see before you with the exception of these three pieces here what you see before you is actually called the um, Sawyer Micro Squeeze Kit. So when I bought this, um, the only ones that were selling the, the, the technical, um, you know, technically the uh, Sawyer Squeeze was Walmart. That was the only place I know of that you could get it. You go in store and they had it. Um, but anywhere online, this at the time that I bought these this was the best you could do online was the what they call the micro squeeze the difference is is for one the squeeze and I'll leave a link for the actual squeeze because they are on Amazon now for 29 bucks a piece that's a pretty good deal it will come with two of these pouches instead of one okay and it will also come with a, a different set of fittings uh, well, as far as I know it will not come out with with this here uh, because I don't believe you'll need this, but it comes with two other fittings that you will need. Okay, so um, and I'm sure it probably comes with the caps, but it comes with two of the pouches. It comes with the the syringe. It comes with this tube, and of course the filter comes with the mouthpiece. Uh, and like I said, there's a couple adapters that come in that kit. So um, that's what you're going to get. And 29 bucks. For the Sawyer squeeze from Amazon, that's a I would say that's a pretty good deal. I um, I will stand behind the Sawyer squeeze. Now, um, I want to say something about this tube real quick because a lot of the back and forth about what is better, something like a Life Straw or something like the Sawyer, and a lot of it is well, you don't have to do all this and that and that and this with um, with the life straw you just you know put your head down there with straw and you drink up water well that might be ideal for some cases but not all however this tube actually gives you the ability to do that because right here you just put this tube on here just like this right here and now you just created yourself a life straw all right so that is one of the ways to use that tube is to stick it on there and to use it like that so um, you can actually use this like you would a life straw. So you could also use this tube to, to back flush it. How do you do that? Well, just like I did that, you put your clean water into your syringe and you back flush your filter. Okay, that's what the syringe is for. The syringe is for back flushing your filter. Okay. 
So that are that those are the two uses of that tube that comes in there. One of them is to back flush it, but but the other use, and I'm, I can't guarantee you that the um, that the regular Sawyer squeeze is going to come with that straw. I, I would have to honestly, I'd have to look. Um, I would think so, but it does come with the other fitting, so that's why I question that. Um, so. That's pretty much all I can say about this. I do, like I said, I like this. It's got a little mouthpiece here already, so um, I can use that mouthpiece. Of course, the big thing is you put water in there and you just tighten that on. And then you just squeeze this or whatever, just suck out of that either way. And, uh, and you'll get your clean water goodness. So that's the idea. I do like the Sawyers. They make a really, really good filter. So, go on to this. This is a separate adapter set. Again, the, um, the, for the squeeze, I looked at it today. They were $29. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link down in the description. Yes, if you buy the product through my link, I will make a commission. Trust me, I'm not making money. <laughs> uh, in fact, there's typically only one person that uses my Amazon affiliate link. And I don't think I get credit for his purchases anymore because I've got nothing but goose eggs there and he's had four orders put in and I've got nothing but goose eggs. So I think the gig is up, Steve. I think the gig is up. Um, so technically, um, they could disqualify him because you could say that Steve and I are friends. And so that's why they can get away with not giving me the uh, Amazon affiliate money. So... If you don't want to use the affiliate link, just uh, copy the title of the product and just put it in Google or Amazon or what have you. I don't really care. So these are the adapter set that I bought. And uh, they are $10.99 as of today when I looked. And what this allows me to do is fill up my water bladder without having to open my bug out bag, remove it from the bug out bag or anything else. Let me show you that. First of all, I highly recommend whatever water bladder you get, there are a few things, three things that are musts in the water bladder world. One of them is a removable mouthpiece. We'll talk on that in a second. The other one is a removable hose so you want to be able to take your hose or your mouthpiece off okay because that way you can clean the system really good so what's the third thing that's really important about a water blotter well I said something about cleaning and these things if you don't know can be a bear to clean if they get yucky on the inside well they have a way and a, ah, there we go got to pull the right way you just you just pull that off and it opens up right so you get your hand down in there you can use some good soapy water get it all really really good and cleaned out and make sure that you have safe drinking water so and that's a must I'm telling you that right now that is an absolute must to have uh, that method for cleaning so the reason these are not cheap the, um, this is the Source WXP Storm with the Storm Valve, thirty-eight fifty-six at the time that I'm making this video. Thirty-eight fifty-six for this. Let me tell you why I went with the more expensive option instead of say, and I, and I will share a link for this too because I am grateful that most of you aren't going to have the same problem that I have. Um, I'm going to put also the option. For a way cool three liter, um, this is three liter. I'll put um, I'll put the three liter equivalent from way cool, and that's eighteen dollars and ninety nine cents. A lot cheaper than the uh, source unit. Uh, the difference is, is is it don't have the uh, it doesn't have the storm valve. Okay, that's probably the biggest difference um, is that it don't have the storm valve. That's why I bought this because. It was either that or me buy separate storm valves anyway. So I just figured, well, these things are really, really highly recommended, the Source brand. I'm sure that they're that price for a reason. And so I went ahead and went with that. I uh, went with the Source WXP. So 
the reason for the storm ball. You may or may not know that I don't have teeth. Um, what remnants is left is just, yeah. Um, and I can't do nothing about it. it. It is what it is. All I can do is, uh, when it comes to preparedness, is to prep around it any way that I can, right? It is what it is. Um, it's the damnedest thing. You can bust your ass for most of your life in this country. And uh, they'll let you go to hell. But you can sneak across the border. They'll give you any damn thing you want. Absolutely mind-blowing. I couldn't tell you the amount of money that I've put into health insurance over the years that I've paid into it that I've never used. And now that I need it, nah. But that's a different video, different time. So the storm ball, what it is, is a lot of your, a lot of your mouthpieces for hydration bladders are bite balls, okay? Well, you might imagine I might have an issue with that if I don't have teeth or the only remnants left are not in good shape. Um, that would cause a lot of problems, biting down on a bite ball. So with the storm valve, it is like this. You, you, un, you, know, you unlock it, you twist it counterclockwise, and you pull it out and it's open, you see? So it's something that I can even do, right? Because I can pull that out, no sweat. Unlock it, pull it out, no sweat. So uh, it's, it's a lot easier for people that have teeth issues or what have you that's called the storm valve and i think you can get just the storm valve itself i'll look i don't know offhand how much the storm valve is i'll look i'll see if i can find it on amazon if i can find it i'll put a link to it because you might be more interested in, in getting the way cool bladder and then buying a storm valve or you may already have a bladder and just want a storm valve either way that's the difference with the storm valve is that it you twist it to unlock it and then pull it out and now it's open so and you push it in and twist it and now it's closed and locked just pushing it in closes it but when you twist it that locks it so um, that's it uh, that's the long and short of it that's our, our water filtration system I, I did not show you this part of it which should have been self-explanatory but let's say you know, the Martians are landing and we got a bug out. I keep empty soda bottles. I keep two, two liter empty soda bottles um, right with our bug out gear. And this is for putting water in the moment that we need it. Now, what, it, what would probably be done is I would probably fill these up, get our bladders, uh, get this, uh, get the water out of this end of the bladders. And I'd probably refill this before I headed out. It depends. Am I on foot? I've got bug out bags. If I'm on foot, I'm not carrying a two liter soda bottle full of water around with me, right? But I've already got a couple of liters in here. Yes, I did say this is two liters. I'm not going to fill it up all the way. Okay, so I bought a three liter with the intentions of using two liters in the bag. So that is, uh, that is the way I roll. So uh, with this, all I have to do, when it's go time, fill the bottle up with water. Screw that. Well, if, if I can do it. Screw that on there. Pull off my, uh, my valve, my mouthpiece. And put that in there and squeeze. And I'm filling my uh, bladder up with water. It's really that simple, really that quick. And then I can turn around with this. And I could use it if, if I had clean water in the bag. Okay, if I had clean water in the bag, I could, this fits on the bag too. It's the same size cap. So, and of course, you know. So, any which way, but this extra little adapter kit, you know, and it does come where you can, uh, this here is so that you could actually put your water filter in line, right? You'd put your water filter in line with your, um, with your hydration thing and so you could just plug your um you would have this side on here right and you would just plug that in it would be more or less like you didn't have that so yeah i don't know to me the way i've uh the way i've got it ready to go i think it's really about the simplest and and accommodates about the most amount of situations you're going to be in when it comes to water Retrieving water, 
what have you. So that's it. I just wanted to show you guys that because I guess I never did make a separate video on that. So all the links will be below. If you got any questions, feel free to ask. I am certainly not the expert when it comes to um, water filtration and whatnot. But uh, I certainly know enough to keep us alive, keep us disease free. And uh, water filtration, water purification are absolute musts. So, anyway, figured I would show you guys how I got stuff set up. And, uh, get out there and get some prepping done, man. Things are really getting stupid quick. Shalom.